Hey guys, what's up? So I wanted to introduce you guys to my PFSense slash Sophos UTM build. It's basically like a Linux Unix based firewall. And I'm going to make it out of old parts that I have here. So let me show you what I have real fast. And what's going to make this build different than your typical PFSense build. So this is actually an old firewall that I actually had built probably four or five years ago. Maybe even six, seven years ago by now. And this actually was an Intel Atom based um, motherboard here and a 1U server chassis that I bought and obviously I had a, a gigabit NIC in there so um, so this is really no longer fast enough this actually did 64 bit though by the way so this is not really fast enough for as a firewall anymore and one of the things I wanted to do was uh, build a, a new firewall with my uh, old workstation computer bought this a few years ago but um, what makes this unique is that it actually has double NICs, and they're actually good NICs. They're Intel-based NICs. So if you look at the chips on the board, you can see like the those are the NIC chips. So this is actually a gigabit gigabyte motherboard, and it's a Intel Core i3 and DDR3. I have the memory right there for that. So gonna um, either go two four gigs or eight gigs if I can go I'm sixteen gig. Um, but the unique thing about this build is that I'm going to actually uh, try to set this wireless uh, card right here. I currently have the card taken out of it. I'm actually going to try to get this in access point mode. So I'm going to try to make this a, like a wireless router, like a Wi-Fi router. And uh, have the, the wireless radio um, in access point mode. So here are a couple chips. I actually have an Atheros chip ordered. And originally this thing had come with the uh, wireless AC. Um, what module is it? It's this module here, I think. But this actually could do 800, 800 uh, megabits per second. But um, the problem with these Intel-based, uh, you know, mini PCI cards, Wi-Fi cards, is that they can only work in client mode. They can't work in uh, access point mode. So uh, I do have a Theros coming today, and I have a low-profile. Uh, heat sink to fit into my 1U case here and so that's what I'm going to do and then actually I'm going to take my solid state drive out of my old netbook here which I bought about a year ago um, and probably going to replace this I don't need to actually have this external card anymore so get rid of that and if I can't get this wireless radio to work the, the one that's built on the motherboard that's a mini PC right there I'm going to uh, I do actually have some uh, Atheros uh, external cards so these actually aren't wireless even they're, they're dual radio they're 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz radios but they're they're wireless n so pfsense doesn't really support wireless ac yet as an access point so we'll get that going so actually my first i actually i like sophos utm and sophos uh, xg firewall better than uh, pfsense and it's free for home user so i'm gonna try to get it to go with that but uh i'll also go with pfsense too i'll show you how that works so like I said really the only difference in this build probably compared to other videos is I'm trying to put this in access point mode so this can either be a client mode where you're actually connecting to a wireless network or it can be an access point mode actually I want clients to connect to the radio here so like my internal clients my cell phone laptops will be connecting through here and then routed to the internet through the actual software so yeah and I, I make a lot of car videos but I've actually been an IT guy for 25 years. Um, I don't work in like, a, I, I, I do actually more like IT construction. So I build hospitals, banks, sales offices, medical centers, you know, medical offices, dental, whatever, uh, restaurants. So I do more of like the, the cabling, we install the routers and, you know, we don't stick around to do the IT work. We just do basically uh, contract work. So we do, uh, we build the data centers and stuff, wiring closets and stuff. So, all right, we'll get this going. All right. So Amazon oh, yeah. just showed up, and that's the Atheros. I think it's a 9280, I think, or 92, or no, yeah, 9280, right there. Um, all right, that's gonna go in there. I'm gonna get this thing to fire up, so, kind of bummed I couldn't use my 1U case, but haven't get up, given up on that yet, so. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna first try uh, Sophos UTM-9, and I have the, uh, Going here with the uh, my power supply SSD drive, and we'll see what happens. 
Actually, let's go through the instructions. It's pretty basic. All right, so what you have in front of you is a Sophos UTM9 9.6. And this is actually my preferred firewall over PFSense. But uh, let me show you real quick. So the interfaces did show up. And in this system is called WAN0 or WAN1. And let's check under wireless. But for some reason, I have it all set up, but it's not broadcasting a SID, SSID. So advanced uh, access points. So let me show you that. So it does show up as a local. That local Wi-Fi 0 is actually the uh, internal card that I, I showed you. And for some reason, everything looks like it's configured correctly, but it's not broadcasting. So let me uh, show you real fast um, what I came up with. Dr it says driver. Cool thing about this, the software is you can do like real-time logs, like what's actually happening with the firewall. So yeah, this is definitely my preferred firewall over PFSense. It's definitely more feature-rich. Um, it's free for 50 users, so if you can go on their website, you can get it for free. But uh, driver does not support configure HD capability. So um, I'm going to install PFSense to see if I can get it to work in PFSense. The onboard NIC, and then uh, if I can't get the onboard NIC to work, uh, wireless NIC, then I'm going to put the external PCI Express card in there. All right, so I got it working here. So let me show you the, I had to follow this document right here and because I was getting that weird error code. So I had to go into the host AP config and change this right here. And uh, so I was able to get it to work. So, so you need to have a uh, root access obviously to modify files and I'm connected to that network 2.4 gigahertz at uh, 72 megabits. So I'm also going to change uh, to 5 gigahertz and see what I can get out of 5 gigahertz. So the max on this chipset should be 300 megabits. Um, it's not. It's actually wireless N, but it actually supports 5 gigahertz. So it's not wireless AC. But uh, I guess I, mean, I guess I could try a wireless AC chip. But um, okay. So now that I got it working with Sophos UTM, my preferred firewall, I'm going to do the exact same thing with uh, PFSense. So yes, it does work. So that's cool. That little onboard mini PCI card actually it can work as an access point so let's try PFSense we'll come back all right all right let me show you another cool thing about this software so yeah, I went to wireless settings and uh, I can totally see my thing connected here too so that is pretty cool so I'm gonna go back and I'm going to change it to oh, it's, it's actually under access points grouping edit change the radio to five gigs oh can't do that have to go back to wireless networks change it to advanced dual radio save access points grouping and advanced change the radio to five gigahertz only and let's see if I can see this again here Okay, there we go. So I change over to five gigahertz, and now I'm getting 150 megabits at five gigahertz. So, all right, cool, cool. So it works at 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. All right, off to PFSense. All right, so I got PFSense installed, and let me uh, show you how it did it. I, I still don't like it as much as uh, Sophos UTM, but here we go, take a look. So. So when you first get this installed, you have to go down to Interfaces, Assignments, and then go to Wireless tab. And then when you first see this, you'll see this uh, an option for the wireless. So this is a, the Theros 9280. And then you got to choose Access Point Mode. And you can name it, save it. Once you've created that, then you need to go back and create a new interface. And then now they'll actually, once you create that wireless option, there'll be another option for interface down here. Like this will show up. And then from there, you can edit this. And this is actually where you create the uh, SID, SSID. And you want to create a uh, static IP address. And uh, actually, you want to put it in a different range than the actual LAN address. And then, uh, you know, get the ID and password. And once you're done with that, hit save. 
and go back to, you want to bridge them. So go, go back to interfaces, assignments, and you want to create a bridge. So the bridge actually connects the two networks together. Um, so well, I've already created that, edited that. So I created the LAN and the wireless, bridged them, named it LAN Wi-Fi, save. So now you need to create a, a DHCP server and the actual hand address is out to the wireless network. So go back to uh, services, DHCP, DHCP service. And once you create the wireless network, you have an option up here and it's the wireless tab. So I've already created a local LAN address DHCP server range, and that was the two two network was the local LAN, and the wireless is the 192.168.4.0 on a slash 24. Um, just basic, and um, I actually do like the Sovas better, and I'll tell you why in a couple of seconds. So this one is actually connecting slower at 65 megabits, but the Sovas UTM or not the uh, the PF Sense can't do five gigahertz. But the Sophos UTM can, so that's a big difference. So, uh, yeah, I don't really. I'm not really a. I mean, PF Sense is pretty cool, but it's uh, it's not as graphical, and nice. The interface doesn't look as nice as the uh, Sophos UTM. Um, I actually, I'm running the Sophos UTM in my data center, so my data center firewall is Sophos UTM, and uh, I mainly use that for the web protection, anti-spam, that kind of stuff. It actually really blocks spam on my Exchange server, so. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna uninstall PFSense and put back uh, Sophos UTM back on, and that's the end of this video. And uh, really, it just was just a proof of concept to see if this actually worked. You know, if you could actually take a either onboard wireless card or an external PCI Express card and uh, make it work in access point mode. So, all right, that's it. It works. <laughs>